a fantastic example of Florentine bronze. Now, who will start at 140,000? 140,000? 160,000? 70, 80, 90,000? 200? 20? 40? 250,000. 250,000, 60,000, 70, 80, 90, 300,000, 10. Sold! You know, after all these years, I still get goosebumps coming to these auctions. The paintings, the sculptures. Things that aren't really paintings or sculptures. The pretentious vultures who never look up from their calculators to see what they're buying. Now that gives me goosebumps. Auctions are disgusting. I couldn't agree more. Savages. Oh. Now, lot 15. An equestrian piece attributed to the Trellini School. Now, who will start at 250,000? 80,000. Thank you, sir. 300,000. 320. 340,000. No more on 340,000. Sold once, twice, sold. Uh, and finally, lot number 17, thought to be lost in the war. And again, last night. <laughs> the Da Vinci Sforza, the Jew of the same. Fantastic. It's looking like a constipated warthog, a prerequisite for getting a job in the art world. Dottoressa Anna Baragli of the Vatican. Doc? Some of us warthogs are more constipated than others. Perfection. The Vatican extends its jealousy to the lucky bidder. Thank you, Doctor. We'll begin the bidding at $20 million. Thank you, sir. 20.5. Waldo! Oh! $100 million clams! Yes, $100 million yes. to Mr. Darwin Mayflower. $100 million! Fantastic. One hundred million dollars and one. I bid by my own wish. Kel Barmer. Don't hate me, baby. Funny. Funny. Any other bid? Going once. Going twice. Anybody would have done the same thing. No, I mean, you didn't have to tackle me and rip my dress. Oh. Oh, I'm just kidding. Thanks for saving me, tough guy. Why was that guard chasing you? Because danger, Doc, is my middle name. Oh! This is a brand new tuxedo! Uh -huh. 
Snickers. The plane leaves in 40. I'm enjoy. Get it? Candy bars. Well, it's better than when we first started out. Our code names were diseases. Do you know what it's like being called chlamydia for a year? Oops, forgot. My name's Butterfinger. No shit. You like the company's new look? I call them the MTVIA. George, you promised no old CIA, new CIA jokes. Punks. They think the Bay of Pigs is an herbal tea, and the Cold War has something to do with penguins. Don't I know you? The last time you saw me, I was bald with a beard and no mustache. And I had a different nose. So if you don't recognize me, I won't be offended. My high school science teacher? <laughs> I'm the guy who tricked you into robbing the government installation and then had you sent to prison for it. George Kaplan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the type to hold a grudge, George. Ah, I used you as a diversion. I guess down deep I was just jealous. You were one hell of a thief. What do I owe the dishonor of this reunion, Georgie? I want to make it up to you, kid. That's why I got you this gig. And to quote the late, great Karen Carpenter. We have only just begun. Three minutes, four seconds. But you know, George, you're a little late. Maybe nobody told you. I quit stealing. My employer wants a meeting. Your employer? The president? No. Somebody powerful. Good God, what's that? <laughs> Uh, George, you don't expect me to fall for that old gag, do you? <laughs> Shucks, I guess not. <clears throat> now? Yes, now. 